Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the IROC series presented by More Freedom Trucking. Today, we have traveled to the Nashville Super Speedway for IROC Nashville. This is going to be race number four in the IROC series season three. And with this marking the halfway point in season three, let's go through your current top 10 in points, which is everybody. Uh, your points leader is the 13, the King of the Aces. Second's going to be the 07, the Douchebaggins. Third, tied for third, will be the 23 of Fuller Than You and the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Fifth place will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Sixth will be the 96 of Nico. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And rounding out your field, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So that's a look at your points here for IROC Nashville. Again, these are all identically set up cars, and it should be an interesting race here today. Crowd's already filed in for this Nashville or IROC Nashville race, so let's go racing. Let's go through your starting lineup today for this IROC Nashville. Starting on the pole will be the 329 of Heck of a Duber, and on his outside, the 96 of Nico. Starting third will be the three of Geek Girl Games, and on her outside, the points leader, the 13 of King of the Aces. Starting fifth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins, and on his outside, the 23 of Fuller Than You. Starting seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos, and on his outside, the 49 of Jetman. In the last row, shotgun on the field, starting ninth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, and on her outside, the 25 of JTM. Look at your starting lineup here today for IROC Nashville. We're going to see what these drivers, again, an identically prepared Dodge Vipers can do with the Nashville Super Speedway. Heck of a duper is going to be leading us down to take the green flag. Normally road course cars, but we're putting them on the ovals here this season, and we're going to see what they have in store as Duber leads us down. To take the green flag here today, Nico on his outside, G3 right behind him, the green flag is out, and we are underway. We saw him jump out three wide as they get a train on the top of the track. We're going to see if du what Duber's got here as he lead. He's, I think he's going to lead lap one as the 96 and the 13 have got up to the top of the track. And they are trying to work around the outside of the number three of Geek Girl Games, so King of the Aces... Falling back a little bit as the 96 of Nico able to drop down behind the 329 and in front of the three. Only 30 laps, 30 laps of green flag action here today. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left and the top 10 will be scrolled across the top. So you only 10 drivers in the IROC series, so You'll be able to see them all on the left-hand side there, and you can just see them scrolling with times and whatnots at the top as per usual. As the 329 of Heck of a Duper is still leading the way right now with a 96 of Nico in second as we got the battles in the back of the pack right here with the 25 of JTM. Trying to work to the outside of the 356 of Ice Cream some days, pushing three wide through the middle between himself and his teammate in the More Freedom Series, the 49 of Jetman. So JTM trying to push his way out of the last place and get himself moving here. He currently resides in the eighth position in points and definitely needs uh, a good run here today to get up back, I was gonna say into the top 10, but he's already in the top 10. He needs to get those points underneath his belt and move up in the standings. Thought we had a yellow flag there for a second as JTM is still trying to work around his teammate, the 20, 49 of Jetman. And the 356 is trying to peek her nose underneath there right now. Keeping an eye on the battle for the lead as the 96 is just a couple tenths off the 329 of Heck of a Duber right now. We're watching this battle for 8th, 9th, and 10th. Between the 25, the 356, as the 25 is going to lose time through the turn right there. We'll jump back to the front of the field. Check in on your leader, the 329 of Heck of a Duper. The, the 96 of Nico is closing the gap ever so slightly. We're under two tenths of a second now, as it looks like it's only about a car length or so between himself and the leader. So Duber doing everything he can at the moment to stay out in front here at IROC Nashville, but 
He's got the 96 to three and possibly the 13 to King of the Aces knocking on his back door right now. Fastest lap of the day is gonna to go to the 23 of Fuller to the new at 161.418 miles per hour or 29.728 seconds. So that's the time they're making around this track here today. About 30 seconds at last lap by JTM falling down into the 30 second range. Uh, he is falling a couple tenths off the back bumper of the 356 of Ice Cream someday. So I don't know if his tires have just gone away or just, it can't be a bad setup. They're all set up the same. But the 356 or the 329 of Heck of a Duber lead in here today. We're going to look through this field and uh, check in on your favorite drivers. You get the 329. He's out there in the front, 96 a second. Well, uh, note that the 329 of Heck of a Duber, he's running. For Douche Motorsports in the More Freedom Series, so he runs the 320. Uh, the numbers in this series are the same numbers they run in the More Freedom Series to help the crowd, the fans, everybody recognize who the drivers are. So the 329 of Heck of a Duber currently resides first place here today uh, for Douche Motorsports in the More Freedom Series. The 96 of Nico running second for MBR in the More Freedom Series. The three of Geek Girl Games running third for G3 Motorsports in the More Freedom Series. So as you'll recall, last season, G3 was your points champion. Duber finished second and Nico finished third. So the top three from last season running up here in the top three today. Two former series champions right there, but also season one champion, the 13 to King of the Aces for Aces to Z Motorsports in the More Freedom Series. Currently running in the fourth position. I'm try it's been so long. It's been five weeks since our last race that I'm trying to remember. It was possibly King of the Aces that won that last race. I can't remember. But he's running here in the fourth position right now. He is your points leader in this series. Up by five points over Douche Baggins. Duber again runs last in points. Nico is sixth and G3 is fifth. So that's going to be a good points day for them, possibly. They're at least a few points ahead of the 13 of King of the Aces. 40 of Vetra Chaos runs here in the fifth position. He is running for Kager Racing in the More Freedom Series. Um, he's had a rough go the last couple seasons. He, we've coined the phrase, don't veteran chaos the end of pit road wall as he ran into it several times. I think last season and possibly the season before. Uh, and then next we got the 23 of Fuller to the new. He's currently running in the sixth position here today for Aces to Z Motorsports. Seventh's gonna be the 07 of Douche Baggins for Douche Motorsports, car owner of that team currently in the second position in points. I forgot to mention 23 of Fuller to the new third position in points. So second in points is going to be the 07 of Douche Baggins. He was IROC Series Season 1 champion. So he currently resides in the top 10 in points for the overall. So if you recall, the the way you get into the IROC Series is, is that you have to be in the top 10 in overall points for your career and be an active driver in the More Freedom Series. So DB does represent that he is cur currently second in points here today also a previous champion here in the series nico was iraq series season two champion back in the eighth position we got the 49 a jet man he currently reside running a ninth in points here in the more in the iraq series running for mbr in the more freedom series running top five in points over there so good season so far for the 49 of Jetman. Ninth position, we got the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. He is running for G3 Motorsports. That was a move from Aces to Z Motorsports over the winter. So G3 lost the 42 of MGH and picked up the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. 
Ice Cream has had a rough transition to the Chevys from the Toyotas last year and uh, the last couple seasons. So she's had a rough go. Uh, I think she went Ford, uh, Toyota, and now Chevy. Dodge Ford, Toyota, Chevy in the uh, More Freedom Series. So hopefully she can get that one manufacturer down and start, uh, start winning races again. I believe she won two races last year for Aces to Z Motorsports. Led the points for a while, but currently running down in the points this season in the More Freedom Series. She is third in points here this season in the IROC Series. As we head to the last place person right now on the track is at 25 at JTM. Not sure if that car just doesn't have what it needed today. Again, he was made it three wide early on, just didn't have the oomph in that car to get around the 49 and the 356. So JTM currently running in the eighth position in points here today has had put together several good races in the more freedom series this season uh, has worked himself into, I believe the top he's in the top 17. So he is, he runs he dri MBR driver. And he, uh, I mean, he's working hard. MBR has had a rough go this season with their pit stops and uh, their their premier driver so far this season has been the 49 of Jetman, but I know that the 96, the 25, the 88, and the 29 and the 51 are trying to get back into the winning ways. Again, even the 49 of Jetman. Check in on your lead pack with 11 laps to go here. Your leader is the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Still your leader. As we're going to see if the 96 of Nico is able to do anything here today to catch up to the back bumper of the 329 and possibly make that pass. I don't know if he's waiting towards till the end of the race or what he's going to do. Kind of just cruising right now. here at Nash the Nashville Super Speedway. Should be an interesting race this week for the more Freedom Series race here at the track. Again, with the identically prepared cars, it makes it a little bit more difficult to do the pa do passing and only 10 drivers. So we're gonna see a lot different, we're gonna see a different story in the more Freedom Series race at, with 30, how many ever drivers there are in the more Freedom Series race? 33, I do believe. So we're going to see a big, a different story over there with more passing, pit stops, and a lot of other stuff that happens over there in the More Freedom Series. So again, Duber is your leader right there in front of the 96 of Nico and the three of Geek Girl Games. He is trying to win it here for the boys back at the shop. as he heads down into one and two. We got about seven laps to go. Pretty much the field is lined up and still the same as we just went through that whole spiel about everybody in the field. Duber's had a rough go this season in the More Freedom Series and just not, not up to par as he was last season for Douche Motorsports. And I don't know if that's because Douche Motorsports added a couple drivers this season. They added the 211 of Hogs and the 203 of Signs. So, you know, a little bit more overhead in the Douche Motorsports stables as they currently run second in points to MBR in the team standings. So adding a couple more drivers was that Douche Motorsports stables and, you know, maybe, maybe it was just a little bit too much for all the teams and, you know, you got to start sharing that knowledge, and I think that's what why MBR. Obviously, MBR has six drivers. They've had six drivers since the start of the More Freedom series, and that's allowed them to capture three points cha team championships in a row. Uh, there have been other teams that have had six drivers. KFB Racing, which is now Kager Racing, had six drivers for the first three seasons. 
Yeah, maybe not all six, but they were five or six for the first three seasons, and you know, or at least the sec two in season two and three. They've fallen down to two drivers this season, but yeah, NBR has just been sort of the class of the field as far as teams go in the More Freedom Series. They have the most most poles by far will go to NBR, and probably the most wins as well. Uh, that 96 of Nico sitting at four wins in his career, only bested by the three of Geek Girl Games who has five wins. I believe G3 had three or four wins last season. So. She had a great run to her championship last year with those five wins with as we got about three laps to go here. As they're currently just riding single file around this track, I'm not sure if the 96, the 329, any of the, or the 96 or the three, as we see that the 40 and almost the 23 have almost caught up to the 13, the king of the aces. So if you go by team standings, as we get about two laps to go here, Probably get the white flag, I think, on the, this next lap around. If you go by teams here in the series, uh, two drivers for Douche Motorsports, three for MBR, two for G3 Motorsports. As Duber bringing us down, end of three and four, headed down for that white flag here today at the Nashville Super Speedway for IROC Nashville. G3 falling off the pace a little bit there. And the 96 of Nico, the only one left up here to try to catch the 329 of Heck of a Duber. We're going to see if he does any moves here on the last lap as they head into three, two and three. On to the back stretch for the final time. The 329 of Heck of a Duber. Is he going to lead all 30? I think he's going to lead all 30 laps here today. As the 96 of Nico not able to do anything to catch up and pass that 329. Duber is going to be your winner here today for IROC Nashville. Flag to flag for the 329 of Heck of a Duber as he is able to lead every single lap here today. I know that's not going to be the case in the more Freedom Series race as it's going to be wild and crazy, I bet. Let's go through your finishing order. Again, your winner today is the 329 of Heck of a Duber. Second's going to be the 96 of Nico. Third will be the 3 of Geek Girl Games. Fourth will be the 13 of King of the Aces. Fifth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Sixth will be the 23 at Fuller Than You. Seventh will be the 07 at Douchebaggins. Eighth will be the 49 at Jetman. Ninth will be the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 25 at JTM. So our next race will be on July 22nd as we head to IROC Las Vegas. We head to Las Vegas for IROC Las Vegas. Let's check in on your current point standings, and we'll see what that win did for the 329 of Heck of a Duber. So congratulations again to the 329 of Heck of a Duber. He is your winner here today for IROC Nashville. Leads it flag to flag. He's going to pick up those 20 bonus points here today, which will definitely help him. As the season, as we head for the last four races of the season here in the IROC series, uh, we're coming back here for on Friday for the More Freedom series. So let's see if Duber can pull off the Nashville double, win them both. And until Friday, back here at Nashville, take care.